two friends find something bizarre in the trunk of a car and decide to use it to make some money. The accidental discovery, however, leads them to a number of misadventures. A stylish looking man drives to the seaside in a red car. He goes down to the beach and wakes up a man named Manu wrapped up in a sleeping bag. Later, Manu receives instructions from the man to deliver a suitcase from someone called Michelle Michelle to another guy. The stylish man stresses that the suitcase must not be seen, hence the need for it to be transported in a car trunk. Manu is promised 500 euros if he completes the delivery as the stylish man gives him Michelle Michelle's address and then leaves. Afterward, Manu walks along looking for a vehicle to steal when he finds an unlocked, beat-up car. Manu then drives the stolen car to pick up a friend, Jean Gabriel with whom he does a special Toro handshake before taking him along on his errand. On their way to Michelle Michelle's, Manu tells Jean Gab not to talk to their contact and explains the details of his suitcase delivery mission. They hear a buzzing sound from the back but dismiss it as an old car quirk. Manu then hands his friend 20 euros as an advance, advising him not to ask questions about the suitcase. However, the buzzing noise persists, so they pull up to a roadside to see if the car is indeed making the sound. When they hear another buzzing and flapping sound from the back, the two men get out of the car and warily check the trunk. After a brief argument, Manu unlocks the trunk and kicks the lid open, finding a dog-sized fly inside. The two men are stunned by the creature and are creeped out when it seems to be looking at them, so Manu slams down the trunk. Manu fumes about having no space for Michelle Michelle's suitcase, but Jean Gab suggests that they just remove the fly along with the other junk to get the mission back on track. Manu agrees, but he finds the trunk lid is stuck shut, so he gets back inside the car, upset. His friend comes up with the idea to abandon the suitcase mission and just make money by taming and training the giant fly. Manu argues that the delivery mission is quicker money than training the insect, but Jean Gab pitches that they could use the fly like a drone to rob banks for bigger cash. Manu thinks it over for a bit, but eventually agrees to what he assumes is a minimal effort plan. He and Jean Gab then brainstorm where they could train the fly. They rule out their respective homes because Manu is now homeless and Jean Gab lives with his mom. They spot a trailer home they could potentially use nearby, and Jean Gab honks the horn to see if someone lives there. An old man pokes his head out of the trailer, and Manu gets out of the car to speak to him. The old man yells for the two to leave his private property, but Manu fakes a story of needing water for his friend. The old man gives in and brings out a bottle of water, but Manu knocks him out with a headbutt and claims the trailer as their own. As Jean Gab argues with his mother over the phone, Manu drags the unconscious old man out to the brush. While looking at Manu retrieving some rope from a heap of junk, Jean Gab discovers a bicycle with a unicorn head mounted on the front among the clutter. Manu then ties the old man to a drum. Later, the two men raid the trailer home for valuables when Jean Gab finds a pistol. He carelessly throws it at Manu, who deems the firearm as real and stows it in the back of his pants. Afterward, Manu cuts the trunk lid open with cutting pliers, quibbling with Jean Gab on how they can get food. Manu reminds his friend of the 20 euros he gave him earlier, which he estimates can last them two days. The old man, now awake, strikes a deal with the two to untie him in exchange for his savings. Manu and Jean Gab decline at first, but soon agree when they're told the money amounts to 3,000 euros. Later, Manu manages to peel off the trunk lid, scoop the fly out with a basket, and take it inside the trailer. Jean Gab then puts packaging tape around the fly's body to prevent it from flying off as Manu instructs his friend to train the insect while he goes to collect the old man's money. Manu then drives off with the old man, who directs him to where the money is. Back in the trailer, Jean Gab feeds the fly a cookie. Meanwhile, the old man, held at gunpoint by Manu, asks what the big thing from the trunk was. As Manu tells him it was a fly, they hit a bump on the road, and the gun falls out of his hand. While Manu stops the car to find the gun, the old man takes advantage of the distraction to escape. After buying supplies on the unicorn bicycle, Jean Gab meets Manu back in the trailer to the unfortunate news of the old man's escape. They find the fly snoozing in the trailer as Manu complains about Jean Gab spending his 20 euros on cat food and sleeping pills for the fly instead of human food. Jean Gab reminds his friend of their drone fly plan, promising that it will soon take care of their food needs but will take a few days. That night, Manu grumpily dines on the cat food while Jean Gab empties can after can, feeding the fly. The next day, Jean Gab pacifies the fly in the car while waiting for Manu, 
who acquires groceries by holding a man at gunpoint. Manu then orders the man to scram, gives Jean Gab his requested squeaky toy, and drives off. Back in the trailer, Manu cooks some meat as Jean Gab successfully trains the fly to retrieve the squeaky toy. Unfortunately, Manu forgets the food he's cooking while chatting with Jean Gab about the latter's oil allergy, turning around to see the pan in flames. The entire trailer quickly catches fire, with Manu only able to rescue a pot as he and Jean Gab look on helplessly. That night, while sleeping in the car, Manu wakes up to the snoring fly, which Jean Gab names Dominique. The two men squabble briefly about the name but eventually go back to sleep. The next morning, Jean Gab approaches Manu with a plan to sell the car so they can buy a cheaper one they can drive and sleep in. The rest of the money, Jean Gab says, goes to feeding the fly so he can train it faster, and Manu agrees. Later, having run out of gas, Manu pulls the car along using the unicorn bicycle. A car with three girls passes them by, but one of the girls asks her friend to stop to talk to Manu. She mistakes him for a man named Frederick Breton or Fred, to Manu's confusion. The girl, Cecile, says they were on the handball team at St. Thomas High. Manu pretends to be Fred as Cecile kisses him on the cheek, signifying her close bond with Fred. He says he's helping tow a friend's car and asks Cecile if they have any food, so she invites him to her house nearby. The girls tow Manu's stolen old car up to the huge house on a hill. Cecile invites Manu to the pool, and he in turn advises a reluctant Jean Gab to give the fly some sleeping pills so they can leave it in the car. Manu introduces to Jean Gab to Cecile and the girls, and she directs them to the kitchen to feed themselves. The two men then raid the fridge as Manu tells Jean Gab that the girl mistook him for someone else. Just then, another man, Cecile's brother, Serge, comes to the kitchen, notices their Toro handshake, and asks about them. Luckily, Manu and Jean Gab manage to bluff their way out of suspicion. Later, while Manu bumbles his way around some catching up chat with Cecile, Serge joins their pool party. Cecile then invites Manu and Jean Gab to stay over since they they have spare rooms. But Jean Gab mentions Dominique. Manu lies about Dominique being his friend's cousin and says that she will be fine alone. Afterward, Cecile shows the two men to their rooms. Jean Gab takes the room with a view of the car outside while Manu gets Cecile's former room. The girl shows Manu a yearbook with Fred's picture on it as she reminisces how they fooled around back then. Manu nervously goes along even as Cecile notices that he removed a non-existent tattoo on his thigh. During dinner, Cecile's brother asks Manu Manu and Jean Gab about their weird handshake. The two try to explain how it conveys a variety of emotions and uses, such as happiness, agreement, etc fascinating the others. Then, a girl with braided hair named Agnès loudly announces the dish she made, then sets it on the table. As Manu starts to dig in, Agnès, in her loud voice, picks at his lack of table manners. Jean Gab reacts to her shouting, but the other girl, Sandrine, explains that it's how Agnès normally speaks due to brain damage after a skiing accident. Cecile pacifies the others, and Agnès exclaims for them to enjoy the meal. Later that night, Manu sneaks Dominique into Jean Gab's room. Manu then goes to his room, where he finds Agnès, who starts yelling at him. He knocks on Jean Gab's room, asking to sleep there, but his friend insists he needs some time alone with a fly to train it. At Jean Gab's prompting, Manu goes off to find a bed elsewhere in the house. The next morning, Manu wakes up beside the pool just as Serge jumps in for a dip. Inside, Dominique tugs at the sheets as Jean Gab sleeps when a knock on the window wakes him up. A suspicious Agnès loudly pokes into Jean Gab's activity the previous night, but he won't tell her anything. They trade insults, and Agnès reveals she found animal waste in the old car, accusing Jean Gab of hiding a dog. He goes along with a dog accusation, and Agnès threatens to tell Cecile and Serge, whose parents hate animals. She warns Jean Gab they'll get kicked out and throws the waste at him. In the kitchen, Serge insults Manu and Jean Gab, asking Cecile how long they're staying. Agnès suddenly comes in, airing her suspicions about the two. Meanwhile, Jean Gab instructs a clueless Manu to find a dog fast, or they'll get kicked out. At the patio, Agnès maintains that Manu and Jean Gab are keeping a dog out of sight from Cecile and the others while Manu finds a chihuahua in a neighbor's backyard. Agnes then whips out the fly waste from her pocket, much to the others' disgust. 
Manu brings the dog to Jean Gab just as Cecile and the others come up to their window, with Serge arguing that they kick the two out. Cecile, still defending Fred, aka Manu, knocks on the shutter window, which Manu opens while cradling the dog. Cecile and Sandrine are quickly swayed by the cute dog, the former dismissing Agnes's concern given the animal's small size. Agnes walks out after Cecile snaps at her relentless complaints, prompting the others to go after her. Cecile follows them, leaving Manu and Jean Gab celebrating in relief behind the shutters. Jean Gab then demonstrates Dominique's ability to follow simple commands, like turning its head and backing up a couple of feet, to Manu's satisfaction. Later, while Manu and Jean Gab are playing around in the pool, Agnes sits by herself, seething silently. Inside, Dominique stares at the dog tied to the table. Unable to stand the rowdy duo, Agnes soon chides Cecile for tolerating the two men's antics and suspicious behavior, then leaves. However, Agnes decides to poke it to Jean Gab's room by picking the door lock. Inside, she calls to what she suspects are multiple dogs but is stupefied at the sight of Dominique. After a few moments, Agnes lets out a long scream. Hearing this, Cecile and the others run back to the house while Manu and Jean Gab put on their clothes, looking baffled. Inside the room, Cecile and Sandrine try to snap a non-responsive Agnes from her funk as Manu and Jean Gab arrive. Serge then finds a chunk of flesh dangling from the leash, which the two men identify as what was once the dog. Manu and Jean Gab talk about Dominique eating the chihuahua, but their hushed discussion gives the others the impression that Agnès ate the dog. Cecile and Sandrine quickly turn on Agnès, who's still stunned at what she saw. Afterward, Jean Gab finds Dominique in the yard, covering the fly with a blanket again. Then, while Manu and the others are talking to a couple of police officers, Jean Gab sneaks the fly back into the car. Later, inside an ambulance, Cecile talks to a restrained Agnès, who now speaks softly due to a sedative. Agnès reveals that it was a giant fly that ate the dog, but Cecile sadly dismisses her friend's story and leaves her to be taken away by paramedics. While Serge takes pictures of the police's vehicles as souvenirs, an officer asks Cecile to fill out an intervention survey form. The officer then recognizes Cecile and tells her that he's Fred Breton. To prove his identity to the reluctant girl, he shows her a distinctive tattoo on his thigh. Cecile and Sandrine are shocked by this discovery, wondering who the other Fred is as Jean Gab overhears their conversation from a distance. He immediately warns Manu and proceeds to siphon gas from Cecile's car to theirs. As the officer bids Cecile goodbye, Manu's car skids past them in reverse before speeding off. In the car, the two celebrate their escape with a Toro handshake but deflate at their ruined plans. Manu then comes up with an idea. Moments later, Manu speaks to a man in a fancy house asking to see Michelle Michelle. Manu gains an audience with Michelle Michelle, who still gives him the delivery job despite being three days late. Suitcase in tow, Manu stashes the package in the peeled off trunk and seals it with tape, leaving the unicorn bicycle behind. That night, the two arrive at the delivery location, with Jean Gab carrying the small suitcase to another fancy house. The receiver, an elderly man, having dinner with his family, acknowledges the late delivery and has his assistant hand him the case. The man opens the suitcase, takes a pair of diamond-encrusted dentures from inside it, and shows it off to his family, paying a stunned Jean Gab the fee afterward. Jean Gab then wakes up a snoozing Manu in the car, showing him their money. The next day at the beach, Jean Gab tells tells Manu that Dominique is 100% ready and that they should test its capabilities. He shows the fly a picture of bananas, telling the insect to retrieve it for him before removing the tape around its wings. As soon as Jean Gab removes the leash around Dominique's head, the fly immediately takes off, disappearing into the blue sky. Manu then wonders whether the fly will return but concedes that it's okay even if their get-rich-quick scheme fails. Jean Gab is surprised, and Manu goes on to say they're fine the way they are, finding true value in their friendship. The two do the Toro handshake once more, reveling in their carefree future. As they get in the car to leave, Dominique returns, landing on the hood with a bunch of bananas and leaving the two men stunned in silence. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.